Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. DRL builds the fastest racing drone. DJI drones being hacked to avoid geofencing. PPA adds certified drone photographer designation. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. The Drone Racing League recently tested the fastest racing drone and set the Guinness World Records title for the fastest ground speed by a battery-powered, remote-controlled quadcopter. Hand-built by DRL's Director of Product, Ryan Gurry, and DRL's team of expert drone engineers, the drones fly at unprecedented high speeds. Quote, we're thrilled to put our proprietary technology to the test, as we're all about speed and pushing the limits of drone design here at DRL, said Nicholas Horbeski, DRL CEO and founder. The fastest racing drone, the DRL Racer X, demonstrated a reported top speed of 179.6 miles per hour and weighs only 800 grams. In order to set the Guinness World Records achievement, the drone needed to fly back and forth across a measurement course of 328 feet, with the official record set as the average of the top speed achieved on each of those flights. Therefore, the official speed measured for the Guinness World Records title is 163.5 miles per hour. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Looking like a smaller drone all grown up, Workhorse Group has announced that it will display the Surefly helicopter concept for EAA AirVenture 2017. The goal of Surefly is to be safer and more stable than a typical helicopter due to its redundant design, which includes a lightweight carbon fiber fuselage, four propeller arms, two fixed contra-rotating propellers on each arm, a backup battery to drive the electric motors in the event of an engine failure, and a ballistic parachute. Amazon, in partnership with the UK CAA, has announced the result of the Design a Drone competition. Over 1,700 students participated in the competition from across the UK. Hannah M., a Four Towns Primary School in Ballymena, Northern Ireland, was awarded the top spot for designing her flying cheetah drone, which would be used by forest rangers to protect cheetahs and other wildlife. Another week, another dumb drone law attempt. Raleigh, North Carolina city leaders heard from several people last week about proposed regulations that cut down drone use in city parks. Raleigh Park administrators want recreational drone pilots to fly in only seven city park sites. Raleigh's website lists more than 80 parks in the city in total. Quote, they're trying to strike the right balance for an appropriate use of the parks, but also to encourage this recreational activity, said Patrick Bufkin, Parks Advisory Committee Chairman. If you check the AMA Drone Report YouTube channel, you'll see a new interview conducted some weeks ago with AMA Executive Director Dave Mathewson. The RC airplane industry has seen some lean years, particularly in 2016, as the model aircraft hobbyists found themselves grouped in with hobbyist drone pilots in the eyes of the FAA. But even before the decision voiding the FAA's unmanned aircraft registry, Mathewson said he was anticipating a resurgence in the industry. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Hackers are making it easy for DJI drone operators to get around the geofencing function included in the firmware of DJI drones, and the company is taking steps to thwart that practice. Such firmware patches are being made available at various locations on the internet. The drone maker is reportedly very concerned about legal action and does not want its aircraft to be involved in incidents where operators violate the law. The company has begun a firmware update campaign to close holes in the firmware used to circumvent its no-fly zone restrictions in the past few weeks. It has also started removing older versions of the firmware thought to be vulnerable from its servers. DJI spokesman Victor Wang, DJI's technology security director, said that, quote, 
Unauthorized modification of a DJI drone is not recommended as it can cause unstable flight behavior that could make operating the drone unsafe. DJI is not responsible for the performance of a modified drone and we strongly condemn any user who attempts to modify their drone for illegal or unsafe use. Professional Photographers of America has begun to offer their members a new type of certification. The Certified Drone Photographer designation is a credential for photographers who want to set themselves apart within the highly competitive drone photography market. The Certified Drone Photographer program from PPA assures potential clients of a photographer's knowledge, experience, and continuance to develop new skills and techniques as they relate to unmanned aircraft systems. The certification is a declaration of professional competence and ability. Upon meeting specific requirements, members can apply for the program, which includes a $75 fee. After each application is successfully processed, participants will schedule their certified drone photographer exam, the final step in the certification process. The exam consists of 60 multiple choice questions, cost $25, and a score of 80% or higher must be obtained to receive certification. The certification is valid for two years, after which time it will be necessary to recertify. Recertification can be completed by uploading a new FAA score or updated remote pilot certificate. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.